This was not a Raiders unified front. This was not. This was John Gruden who walked into a situation and was asked, if we're only going to pay one guy, who do we pay? Derek Carr or Khalil Mack? Or Derek Carr and Amari Cooper or Khalil Mack? And John Gruden being an offensive guy, John Gruden believing in his offensive scheme, John Gruden believing he's an offensive mastermind, said, give me the offensive players to make me look like a genius, and we'll say goodbye to the defensive guy when it should work in reverse. A pass rusher off the edge who's made all pros, defensive player of the year, in a pass rush necessary league at 27 years old, who the locker room loves, that you drafted and developed, you keep that guy. I think this was botched by the Raiders from day one. Yeah, Khalil Mack didn't want to come in, didn't want to report, and that created friction. And John Gruden looked around and said, I don't know anything about this guy. He hasn't reported to my camp. He won't come see me, so I'm not loyal to him. And that certainly can be stubbornness on the part of the Khalil Mack camp. But John Gruden, upon walking in those doors, should have reached out to Khalil Mack and said, bro, we need you. We want you. I've seen what you do on film. I know what you mean to this locker room. We realize the type of valuable player you are. We want to eventually get something done. I want to meet with you. And he should have went out of his way to go meet with Khalil Mack so it never got to a point where it was a standoff. Why the Raiders decided to create a standoff with their best defensive player they have drafted and developed since Howie Long is a huge question mark. They haven't drafted and developed a guy of this star power on defense in 35 years. And they decided to pick a war, pick a battle with this guy makes no sense. Overachiever in every way makes no sense. The Raiders botched this, Gruden botched this, and I think history will show how stupid this was.